Next, we have uh, the host of the Jimmy Dore Show. And he is a stand-up comedian, a leading US media critic, host of several Comedy Central specials, author of the best uh, author of the bestseller, Your Country is Just Not That Into You, and a gracious host also on his channel for the People's Convention today. Please welcome Jimmy Dore. Well, before we continue, let's acknowledge the previous owners of the sacred land that we're on, Goldman Sachs, of course. You know, in November, Americans are going to decide if they're going to vote for a right-wing racist pathological liar or Donald Trump. I don't know if you saw the Democrat convention. Uh, apparently, Joe Biden's health care plan won't cover your cancer treatment, but it does cover facelifts and hair plugs. The Republican convention was a bunch of rich guys telling you how scary socialism is to them. Ratings were down for both conventions. Americans are so ungrateful. Democrats and Republicans work hard to give us the worst candidates imaginable. The least we could do was watch their freak show conventions. You know, all of us here, they're going to call all of us crazy just because we want a better future. They tell themselves that we are crazy because they are in denial about how crazy things have actually gotten. The system has failed. The system has collapsed. We are in an economic crisis. We're in a climate crisis. We're in a healthcare crisis. The current failed system has a noose around all of our necks. And we need to save ourselves. In America, we've got one party of oligarchy, one party of inequality. We have one party of war. The Republicans, incoherent, dangerous. Their candidate, a reality TV game show host, able to rise to power because of a failed system that left people desperate. They are not a solution. The Democrats, with their self-righteousness, their repulsive combination of class privilege and moral posturing, pretending to be the party of working people while selling them out to the predators of working people and the middle class. Joe Biden has gone his whole life demonizing the poor, decimating the social safety net, supporting unspeakable foreign policy. He's a tottering relic. And you know that glaze in Joe Biden's eyes? That's not from some spiritual awakening. That's from a persistent yearning for pajamas and gun smoke reruns. <laughs> <laughs> a man who has cravenly created misery at home and abroad is now propped up as Uncle Joe. An erstwhile George Bailey, when in reality, he's Mr. Potter. And Donna Reed never kept people in prison so the state could use their free labor. Their candidate is the candidate of deregulation, the candidate, candidate of mass incarceration, and the candidate of war. They are not a solution. The establishment wants to go back. They want voters to go back to sleep, to trade one nightmare for another nightmare. At a moment when the status quo has so clearly failed us, we have candidates that promise nothing will fundamentally change. We need alternatives. We need alternative media. We need alternative energy. And we need alternative politics. But Jimmy, you'll be going up against the big political parties. Big banks, big oil, big pharma. Let's get away from big. Let's realize that we are only big when we come together and acknowledge our smallness, stand in solidarity with each other. That's when we're big. We are up against Democrats and Republicans. We only care, Republicans and Democrats only care about short term profits and short term solutions. Democrats and Republicans are going to give us a short-term future. 
A people's party is the only solution. The people's party must transform our political system. It must. The people's party must rejuvenate our democracy that has already been stolen from us. For workers, we need to do this. For the planet, we need to do this. For all people, we need to do this. What the People's Party is proposing is something completely radical. We are demanding policies that the majority of Americans want. How radical. Things like single payer health care, actually regulating Wall Street, and stop killing black and brown people here and across the globe. And take that money we used to use to kill black and brown people in other countries and invest it back here at home in building a green infrastructure, making lives actually better instead of exporting misery. But independents and progressives no longer have to settle for less, except for scheduling meeting times agreeable to most members, which already sounds like a deal breaker. <laughs> we must work to become a majority party. And until we get there, we must be large enough that any party that wants to win must form a coalition with us. Coalition. By which they concede to our demands and not the other way around. A compromise is not a compromise if it's you who's making all the concessions. They are going to concede to the majority of Americans and the policies we want, or they are going to lose. Out of control inequality, poverty, corruption. We say no more, no more, no more. We wish to abolish the billionaire, not just to free ourselves, but to save the billionaire's soul as well. Every day we're told we are prisoners of a two-party system. We are not. We do not have to comfort our jailers and we can free ourselves from this prison. All this time in our own hands, we've had the key of democracy to get us out. And when we free ourselves, we free our fellow citizens. We need to have the courage to fight for the world we want no matter what we're up against or how long it takes. We think we're on the precipice of a dark abyss. We are not. When we bring on the sunrise, we will see we are on the cusp of a beautiful new world. This movement must win. Millions of working people are counting on us. The future of the nation is counting on us. The future of the human species is counting on us. People's Party.